Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name is Eric, and I thought today we would talk about solenoids and some of the misconceptions that people have with the solenoid and kind of how do you know if it's the solenoid that's giving you problems or they call it a relay. Stay tuned. So you basically have two different types of solenoids. You've got the standalone solenoid, and this could be a three wire or a four wire. And they, a four wire is basically you have your hot coming here, and then you got power going to your starter. Here you've got the ignition where you have power coming to this when you turn your key switch. And then the other is a ground. If you have a three wire, it grounds itself to the frame instead of having a ground wire that goes to here. So what actually takes place within this solenoid here? So you've got power coming from the battery to this side of the post. You got your two big posts. So you got battery coming to here and then you have a cable from here that usually goes to your starter. So what's taking place with your starter, your solenoid? In this case, when you turn the key to start, you're sending a pulse to here. And that just basically connects this to this. So now you have hot going to here, so you've got hot going to the starter. Now, with this style, this is off a of Kawasaki lawnmower engine. You'd have power coming to here directly from the battery. And then this here, the post, would be coming from the key switch. Both operate basically the same, but one is mounted directly on top of the starter, where the other one can be mounted anywhere on the frame. A lot of times it's tucked underneath, so it's out of the way. But I've seen some videos on these and they talk about, you know, how to know if your solenoid is bad. And if you hear a clicking noise going on in your solenoid, the clicking noise could be just simply, you don't have enough battery. Your battery could be low. It could not, might not be putting out enough volts to energize your starter. If it's low volt, you could actually burn your starter up. If you're not getting anything, it could be anything from your key switch to any of your safety switches that are on that unit. And when I talk safety switches, I'm talking about like you have the seat switch, it has to be seated in order for the lawnmower, to, the blades to come on. Or if you want to get off the lawnmower and leave it running, you have to push and lock the brake on so that it bypasses the seat switch. But you have a number of different switches on your lawnmower, depending on what you have. Some, the PTO switch, whether it's electric or whether it's manual. There's a safety switch on the manual. And there's a relay built into the electric PTO switch that you pull up and down. This says if you're not on that seat, shut it down unless you've already bypassed the seat switch. The only way to know for sure if you're getting proper voltage from here to here and it's your solenoid is to check your voltage under load if that makes any sense to you I know I'm gonna have Jason and Travis anyways helping me out with this to explain it further because I can't I'm not I know I'm gonna miss some of the stuff there but typically when one of these go it it just goes so hopefully that's kind of giving you something to think about when it comes to solenoids. This is just on a frame. We mount it on your frame. Three wire, four wire. Three wire is it grounds itself to the frame. Four wire has a ground wire coming to it. This mounts on top of your starter. 
and you got a wire coming from your battery, a wire coming from your key switch that energizes your solenoid to start it. If you're having issues, check your safety switches.